Hi everyone, welcome to DNT is at the corner and welcome to our tutorial about illustrating quadratic inequalities. First, let us discuss what is a quadratic inequality. Ang quadratic inequality ay mayroong polynomial na nasa second degree and it can be written in any of the following forms. AX squared plus BX plus C is less than 0. AX squared plus BX plus C is greater than 0. AX squared plus BX plus C is less than or equal to 0. And AX squared plus BX plus C is greater than or equal to 0. Kung mapapansin natin, itong nasa mga left side ay parang nasa quadratic equation red. Yun nga lang, gumamit tayo ng mga inequality symbols. We have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. And kagaya nga ng nasa definition kanina, ang ating quadratic inequality ay mayroong exponent or degree na 2. So, isa siyang polynomial, ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 2. And, ang values ng A, B, at C ay real numbers at ang A natin dito ay hindi maaaring maging equal to 0. Bakit hindi maaaring maging equal to 0 ang A? Kasi kung ang A ay 0, let's say we have 0x squared, this will become 0 and mawawala yung ating quadratic term. Therefore, hindi na siya tatawaging quadratic inequality. Let's have some examples. Let us identify whether the given mathematical sentence is a quadratic inequality or not. This is our first given. x squared plus x minus 2 is greater than 0. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? Answer is quadratic inequality because ang highest degree natin dito ay 2 and kailangan gumamit ng inequality symbol kagaya nito, greater than. Let's have our next given. x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? The given is not a quadratic inequality. Obviously, hindi siya quadratic inequality because we have here an equal sign. So, this is a quadratic equation. Next given, x raised to 5 minus 32 is less than or equal to 0. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? Answer is not a quadratic inequality. Though this given is an inequality because gumamit tayo ng inequality symbol, hindi naman ito quadratic kasi ang highest degree natin ay 5 dito sa ating given. So this is not a quadratic inequality. Next given. Negative t squared minus 2t plus 8 is greater than 0. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? The given is a quadratic inequality. So it is a quadratic inequality because our highest degree is 2 and we use an inequality symbol here which is greater than. Our next given is n times quantity n plus 4 is less than 0. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? Answer is quadratic inequality. So, sa unang tingin, mukha siyang hindi quadratic inequality kasi hindi tayo nakakakita ng exponent na 2. Ang gagawin natin kapag ganito ang given is to multiply yung monomial sa ating binomial. So, i-distribute natin yung n dito sa nasa loob ng ating parentheses. Let's try. We have n times n. We have n squared. n times 4. We have 4n is less than 0. So, there you have it. Mayroon na tayong degree na 2. We have n squared plus 4n is less than 0. So that is a quadratic inequality. Kahit pa sa ating quadratic inequality ay wala tayong constant term or c, so ang c natin dito ay 0, mayroon lang tayong quadratic term at linear term, this is still a quadratic inequality. 
Next given. We have x times quantity x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 2x minus 4. Is it a quadratic inequality or not? Answer is quadratic inequality. Okay? So, i-multiply muna natin itong monomial dito sa ating binomial, sa ating given inequality. So, we have x times x, we have x squared. And then, x times positive 4, we have 4x. So, kopyahin lang natin yung nasa kabilang side ng inequality na 2x minus 4. And then, gawin natin 0 itong nasa kabilang side. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 2x plus 4. So, this will become 2x minus 2x, that's 0, and negative 4 plus 4, that is 0 also. So, ito na yung ating magiging bagong inequality. I-simplify natin ito. So, x squared, kopyahin lang natin. And then, 4x minus 2x, that's positive 2x. And then, copy it si positive 4, is greater than or equal to 0. So, ito na yung ating quadratic inequality na inayos natin mula dito sa ating original given. Kita natin dito na ang highest exponent natin ay 2. Okay? And we have here an inequality symbol. So, this is a quadratic inequality. Next given. We have x times quantity x squared minus 16 is less than or equal to 0. Quadratic inequality or not? So, the given is not a quadratic inequality. Kapag i-multiply natin itong x dito sa binomial, so we have x times x, that's x cubed, and then x times negative 16, that's negative 16x. Makikita natin dito na ang highest exponent natin ay 3, that's why, hindi siya isang quadratic inequality. So, dapat ang ating highest degree or exponent ay 2. Now, you try the following given. Determine whether each mathematical sentence is a quadratic inequality or not. Okay, first given. 0 is greater than x squared minus 4x plus 2. Quadratic inequality or not? Answer is quadratic inequality. So kahit zero yung nasa kabilang side ng ating inequality, that is okay. As long as we have here a quadratic term or ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 2 and we have the inequality symbol. Next given, 4v minus 5 is less than or equal to 6. Quadratic inequality or not? Answer is not quadratic. Okay, our given is a linear inequality. Next given, quantity x minus 1 times quantity x plus 6 is less than or equal to 6. Quadratic inequality or not quadratic? Answer is quadratic inequality. Kapag sinimplify natin yung given, lalabas dyan ay quadratic inequality. So, you just have to multiply the binomials and then maaari mong gawing 0 yung nasa kabilang side ng ating inequality. Fourth given, 3x minus 10 is less than x squared. Quadratic inequality or not? Our given is quadratic inequality. Last given, 8 is greater than or equal to x cubed. Quadratic inequality or not? Answer is, not a quadratic inequality. Because we have here the highest exponent which is 3. That's it for our tutorial regarding illustrating quadratic inequalities. We hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thank you.